Wow, how's everybody doing? We're gonna do some fun uh, stuff with the computer today. I ran into an issue where uh, I have a, a very nice solid state hard drive, 60 gigabytes, very, very fast. But I was getting a little cramped in the space on my Windows partition on it. So I figured why not uh, grab another 60 gigabyte solid state drive and use drive imaging software to, to uh, clone the disk to, to these two disks in a stripe array, in a, in a stripe set, which should boost the performance by quite a bit too and double the size. We're going to use a program called Acronis True Image Home Plus Pack to uh, accomplish the task. It has a feature where you can use what's what they call Universal Restore that lets you restore the image that you created previously onto a computer that has different drivers uh, or different different hardware requirements. So let's pop that in and uh, do some of that. We're going to go into the BIOS and enable the RAID function. This will wipe out uh, the hard drives as well. It'll wipe any data that's on them. I've already created my image of the drive and it's on a uh, backup already. So, uh, what the fuck was it? Chipset? No. Uh -huh -huh. No. Aha! NVIDIA RAID. Enable. Enable it for SATA 1. Enable it for SATA 2. Alright. Now I'm going to configure the array. Now a new box is going to come up saying uh, NVIDIA RAID configuration. After the post. Now be aware, if you do a standard image program and uh, clone it, it won't work. But this software, this Acronis image software has a nice feature whereby you can uh, restore it to different hardware. Delete. Yes. Delete. Yes. There was no stripe in there. When I was fucking with it before and I didn't get it to work. I screwed up. I think I know what I'm doing now. So I want to add this drive to the RAID. I want to add this drive to the RAID. There we go. There's the options. Mirroring. I don't want mirroring. So therefore... Striping gives you max performance. It puts, it writes the, drive, the data to both drives evenly, giving you a boost in read and write performance. Okay, striping block. I'll leave it all optimal. All right. Now we have escape, quit, F6 back, F7 finish. Oh, they're both as RAID zero. I like that. Yes. Boot. B to set it as a boot disk. Yes, I want that. Boot. Healthy stripe. 111.79 gigs. All right. Control X to exit. All right, insert system disk. That's good. That's fine. Because now I'm going to pop in my Acronis True Image software. This is cool. I did try once with a generic re restore and it, it fails to boot. Windows starts to boot and then it crashes with the blue screen. Using the universal restore will will, will rip out all the Windows drivers from the uh, from the image, and Windows will detect and install the basic drivers as if you install Windows fresh. Then you go ahead and install your chipset drivers and video drivers and all that stuff uh, after Windows is done. Let's hope this works. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it's booting my Acronis True Image software. 
This is a really sweet software. You can uh, does does all kinds of shit. But also you can just set up make make a boot CD, make a boot uh, USB, you name it. So I'm gonna start the software. This camera's it's hard to get the full screen on there. Such a high resolution. I'll show you all this step by step, so if y'all wanna do it, y'all can. I'm not using my tripod because there's no room for a tripod where I am here, so you saw my maybe you saw my room tour, you'd know that. So I'm going to recover my discs. Right? I'm gonna to browse to my image. There we go. Let's see here. Backups. No. My backups. There we go. This is the the image file I created earlier. Where is it? Yeah, there it is. Okay, so it knows that it's a backup file. I'll choose that. Next. Now this button here is very important. Right here. Use Universal Restore. Yeah. So I'm going to use that. You can also recover chosen files and folders and all that. If you want to, but that's not what I'm doing here today. Here is where you can specify additional drivers if you need some. Like if you're using a SCSI controller or a third-party hard drive controller card, and if it doesn't happen to have them, you can uh, put them in there. I want to restore the entire disk. If you want to make it bootable and all that, you want to make sure all these are checked, so go ahead and choose all that. Destination disk. I'm gonna pick my RAID stripe. 111 gigabytes. This is gonna give me a bunch of more extra space and, and some better performance. All right. Options. Meh. Proceed. All right, it'll be doing this for about 20 minutes or so. And then I'll come back to you and you'll see uh, how it works. Oh, there's no fun like watching a progress bar slowly go. About 15 minutes to go. All right, as you can see here, the uh, computer is now booted with the, uh, now it's on the RAID 0 stripe. That's right. Here's all my files and stuff come up, right? They're all intact, just like they were before I made the, uh, the image. And you can tell because uh, yeah, all the settings are the same as they used to be. Uh, here's the, th the uh, note saying, you must start your computer to plan of changes. Because uh, it found uh, the, you know what drivers it could the basic generic drivers, and now it needs to restart. When I'm done that, I'm going to have to reinstall my motherboard drivers, my video card driver, my network driver, all that. And then all will be well. So yeah, one disc to two disc stripe with solid state. That's pretty incredible. There should be some pretty huge speeds. Uh, I'll post some later with my benchmarks. Alright, later motherfuckers.